Well, this here is the all new BMW 3 Series long wheelbase. It's a limousine version of the car. Now, the reason I'm standing on the side is just to show you how long this car is and that the big difference here is on the second door. When you see the door, it really is very long and very huge. And once you open it up, you'll realize the space inside. But of course, we'll open it up a little later to show you the interiors and stuff like that. What do you reckon? Uh, does uh, BMW have its game on with the long wheelbase version of the car because it gives you extra space in the back? I think they've done a good job by introducing this car because a lot of people who buy these cars buy them essentially for the back seat and very few of them actually end up enjoying the drive that BMW cars have to offer. So for them, this is a good package, but we'll get to the uh, interiors in a bit. Uh, let me just quickly show you a video montage of the exteriors of this car by playing some music. And before that, here's a message from our sponsors, Budmo.com. Now, what is Budmo? Well, Budmo, as you might be aware by now, is uh, the all-in expert in terms of spare parts. If you want a spare part for your vehicle, they have it in their list. They have the most extensive spare parts catalog, right? From the most affordable small car to the top of the line luxury car, you name the car, and they have the spare parts for it. And the best point is that they have the spare parts from a host of different component makers and different price uh, segments for the same spare parts. So if you want to buy a cheaper part from a different maker or a more expensive part from a different component maker, they have the option for you. So budmo.com is the name of the website. You can check them out on your iOS as well as Android devices as well. Well, so I'm inside the cabin of the 3 Series limousine now. Now, in terms of the design, it's a very nice and very flamboyant design. Looks very sporty, very elegant. The gauges are completely digital and they look very sporty, very youthful. And of course, uh, you get this huge touchscreen and the center part of the uh, dashboard has been tilted slightly towards the driver. So it gives you a sense of driver appeal, driver focus on this car. Now, the iDrive system over here is the best in the business. It's ahead of the Mercedes system, the Audi system as well as the systems on Jaguar cars and of course you can also use this uh, swivel wheel over here to navigate through all the menus, sub-menus, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. So standard on this car as of course is uh, multiple zone climate control, this huge panoramic sunroof, uh, traction control, automatic headlamps, automatic wipers, cruise control, multiple airbags and really being a BMW means you get all the bells and whistles. You also of course get a park assist and of course different driving must use from the handbrake is electric and you also get uh, auto hold function with this car. Now in terms of seat comfort, these seats are fabulous and of course uh, BMW cars are also known for this where you can extend the base of the seat for better support for your under thighs if you have long and lanky legs like me. The steering wheel with its uh, leather is fabulous to grip and of course uh, you get all the controls on it for the cruise control as well as for the stereo and the uh, telephone controls. And the quality levels are also absolutely first rate. Uh, all the materials at the top of the dashboard, the soft uh, materials over here, uh, the leather over here, even the smallest of small switches like the control for the volume is made from uh, top-notch plastics and top-notch materials. And I have to say that BMW really uh, makes fabulous interiors and this one is no different. Now, let's jump in the back seat which really is the business end on this car and see how good that really is. Well, so as always, I've adjusted the front seat for my height and my drawing position and my reference is 5'10", in case you've just forgotten. And for someone who's 5'10", or 5'11", headroom is more than sufficient, knee room is more than sufficient as well. In fact, even if you're about 6'1", 6'2", even if you're about 6'3", headroom and legroom both should be more than adequate. So it really is a fantastic car for space in the back. And uh, if you are someone who enjoys being on those long distance journeys, if you enjoy going from Delhi to Chandigarh or even to Shimla because it's a comfortable car, or even if you enjoy doing that uh, Pune to Mumbai trip on a regular basis. This is a perfect car for you in the back seat. You get a couple of uh, charging points, the USB-C type, your own AC vents, uh, and also a big armrest. Now, even though this is a wide car at the back, you can actually have three occupants. I reckon that it's best for two because there's a huge lump in the floor panel. So it's best only for two. And of course, uh, the best point about this car is that the seat comfort at the back is exemplary. You get excellent support for your under thighs, excellent support for your low back. And the cushioning also is spot on. It's neither too hard, neither too soft. So you really sit comfortably inside this car. And as I just said, the backrest angle also is very good. So overall, it is a very nice place to be. I reckon one of the best places in the luxury sedan segment for sheer space in the back. I'll give it a strong score of 10 out of 10 in the backseat department. Now let's see 
how good the boot on this car really is. Well, the best point about this boot is the fact that it's a powered tailgate and of course if you're buying this car you're spending this kind of money you should not be doing any kind of lifting yourself and uh, that's something that BMW knows now in terms of the space it's decent and respectable it's about 430 odd liters which is quite good it's uh, deep but the aperture is rather narrow so if you are someone who's uh, playing a game of golf and chucking his bag into it it'll be okay but uh, don't think uh, that you can put very wide items into it even though there is a big box over here but even then bigger boxes might be a bit of a tricky issue to put in the good point is that there's no loading sill and that it's a wide boot so uh, you know uh, those big as i just said kits of golf as well as cricket kits can easily adjust into it overall i'll give us a respectable score of 8 out of 10. now let's jump in the front seat drive it around and uh, tell you if it really is a bmw or has bmw diluted the overall keen driver's factor well so here i am driving the bmw 3 series limousine now this car remember comes with two engine options there's of course uh, petrol that we're driving right now it's a two liter turbocharged petrol which makes about 250 bhp and 400 nm of torque and there's also diesel it's also a two liter diesel turbocharged and the diesel makes about 190 bhp of power and about 400 nm of torque again and both of them are available with an eight speed automatic gearbox now the automatic unfortunately in this one doesn't get any pal chip to be understanding well, that's a bit of a miss because uh, this is a car uh, which has sporty pretensions about itself and it is a car which is meant for keen drivers so uh, definitely belt shifter should have been there but apart from that uh, there isn't anything missing on this car it really is a phenomenal package to drive now a lot of other journalists will tell you that you know uh, because of the longer wheelbase the softened up suspension and stuff like that this car isn't as sharp to drive or as agile to drive as uh, the regular version of the 3 series but to be honest uh, most buyers were buying these cars aren't buying them for the racetrack they're buying them to drive in the city themselves to go to office every day and yes they do want driver involvement and they do appreciate a car which offers good handling but not at the cost of uh, ride comfort and in that sense this car really is the best of all worlds uh, yes bmw has softened up the suspension slightly but not so much that you start feeling nervous on the highway because it really does soak in the bumps very well and agility still is very good it's not a car which uh, feels lazy or doesn't change directions quickly it really does feel like a very agile car the steering wheel really is a class act uh, it really feels very dynamic very direct and uh, it gives you exactly the kind of feedback that you input into it it's not uh, got any kind of laziness around the dead center and it really is a phenomenal steering wheel and it is definitely ahead of its main rivals even in the long wheelbase version even uh, in the, this version it is ahead of its uh, main rivals in terms of the overall dynamic abilities especially the steering wheel and the chassis balance is uh, very good what uh, you'll also appreciate about this car is the fact that the h speed automatic gearbox is a very quick with gearbox uh, when you're driving it in fully automatic mode you can't even tell when the gears are actually shifting both up shifts and down shifts are very good very crisp and uh, if you want to use it manually then all you need to do is just uh, turn the gear lever to the left and of course if you press it forward then uh, the gears drop and if you pull it back then the gears uh, increase so in that sense also it is a very very quick with gearbox uh, what i did like about this car also is the fact that the engine is a creamy unit it's a very very crisp and creamy unit and performance really is available in bucket load zero to 100 comes up in less than eight seconds in this uh, petrol version of the car and of course the diesel also is similar and uh, what i also like is the fact that the exhaust note throws out a very meaty note when you rev it up and when you're really uh, you know wanting to push this car overtake that slow moving vehicle on the highway the exhaust note becomes very very sporty and it just has a nice tone about itself so it does feel like you're driving a sporty saloon and not a regular uh, you know luxury car so it does have uh, the sporty exhaust note as well what you'll also appreciate about this car is the fact that the engine has very good power delivery right across its rev band so if you're driving it in the city you know at a lower rev about 1500 rpm maybe even less than that it feels very responsive if you're driving in the mid-range even then responsiveness levels are very good and even at the top of its uh, rev band the responsiveness levels are quite good so in all uh, rev uh, bands the engine is really nice and refined and very responsive but that's not all uh, the uh, engine is also a very rev happy engine as much as you rev it this engine uh, just goes to its red line without any fuss so the red line is at 6000 rpm over here and it goes over there without any fuss and of course when you do come closer to the red line the exhaust note becomes even crisper and even creamier now this car does come with uh, three different settings for the engine gearbox and the steering 
and of course if you use uh, the sport mode that's where the engine and the gearbox is most aggressive this steering wheel also has a lot of weight in it so it does become a lot more uh, you know weightier and a lot more uh, communicative than it is already even in the comfort setting this car feels nice and agile and the steering also gives you good amount of weight and uh, positivity but of course if you're in a lazy mood you don't want to put too much effort you want the car also to relax and you can put the eco pro mode on and over there uh, the engine gearbox as well as the steering wheel feel at their uh, easiest and they offer you good communication even then but yes uh, it does become very light and uh, that's the mode that a lot of you will probably use when you're driving this car in the city well so overall what is the score that i give in the driving department to the bmw 3 series limousine i reckon that it deserves a strong score of 92 out of 100 it's very comfortable but not at the cost of driving pleasure it really does offer you great driving pleasure the refinement levels are supreme the engine responsiveness is supreme and as a product it does shine in the uh, driving bits as well so i'll give it a strong score of 92 out of 100 i would have given it a little better score if there were pile shifters behind the steering wheel but that's a surprising miss from bmw but i'm sure that they will fix it sooner rather than later and 92 out of 100 is the score we'll give to the 3 series limousine today So overall the BMW 3C long wheelbase is very good in terms of the rear seat comfort, it's very good in terms of ride comfort and it really does offer you a very opulent and luxurious cabin on the inside and if you want a car which offers you great luxury but not at the cost of driving pleasure, you want a car for the weekends where you can drive yourself then this is a great car for you. So for the weekdays you can sit in the back and enjoy the back seat and the comfort over there and on the weekends you can jump inside on the front seats and enjoy the driving bits which BMW is known for. It's a great all round package. And I reckon if you want a luxury limousine which also has sporty pretensions, then there's nothing better than a 3 Series limousine out there. So bye for now and thanks for watching.